everyone. Welcome to another video tutorial with our Astro Fars today. This video tutorial will go over how you can start an intervention for a student who may be having some difficulty or some challenges in your class and you want to get on get the student on board, get them on track and do whatever you can to get their learning management team involved and the uh, parents involved to uh, really help the student succeed. So how do we do that? Well, first thing we're going to do is go take a look at our gradebook. So let's go over there and see what we have. I'm looking through my gradebook and I can see a list of my students and from here I'll notice that there's a student highlighted in red and young Jara or Irvin Jara is not doing very well in my class. There are other ways you may notice a student who's having difficulty. Now, I can't show you here because the example doesn't have it or the demo uh, gradebook doesn't have it, but if I was to go to Course Center, um, oftentimes it'll show who's trending up and who's trending down, and I can see you know, maybe a student who's, who is doing very well and their grade is uh, starting to plummet, and I want to see what's going on with that student. What can I do to help them? So uh, there's several ways you can tell that uh, School Loop really helps you um, catch those situations early and help those students get back on track. So enough talking, let's give it a shot. If I click on my student's name here, it'll show me a list of the assignments that the student has handed in and what I have uh, graded. Over here would show a list of comments I may have made for that student. This is a sample, so there's no comments there. Uh, if I look over here, you'll see it says student record. If I click on student record, uh, this is pretty much the view that the student has uh, for the most part when they log in. But if I go to the right here, they don't have this information. Over here you can see it has the learning management team, has a list of parents, which this student doesn't have any registered, but yours would. Uh, other members that may be tracking this student and then a list of the teachers that this student uh, it belongs to or this that work with this student. So before we get into interventions, right from here I can immediately send a message to anybody in this student's learning management team. If I click new message, I'll get this window pop, uh, that pops up. I can choose who I want to send the message to. So these are some of his teachers and I can also select the parents. It would look the same as what it looks like down here, but like I said, there's no one who's registered. So I can click on the names of the parents and click on the names of name of the student if I want them to see the message, and right off the bat, send a message to that learning management team to see what's going on, or uh, quickly and easily bring attention to a situation. Let's say the student hasn't been handing in their homework. I want to make send a reminder and I want the teachers to be in, involved in um, what I'm doing with that student. So this is a great tool to use. And of course, once you're done, you click Send. I'm going to cancel this, and it's going to take me back to the student record. The other option is an intervention. Now, this is only visible by the teachers. I click on New, uh, new Intervention. Uh, you'll have this young lady here telling us to uh, make sure I realize that my real name is going to be appearing in whatever I type here. So uh, be aware of that. But over here I can make a subject, missing homework. And here I can type something like, uh, what was this boy's name, Irvin? Irvin has uh, several missing assignments in my class. And I can go on and explain, you know, I, if maybe I'm curious to see if other teachers are having an issue with the student, you know, whatever it may be. It could be behavioral. Uh, it could be any any situation that may come up with a student um, that you find that would be appropriate to involve the other uh, teachers, and you want to get a discussion going on what you can do to help this student out. So if I click publish here, let's just pretend I wrote a whole description there. And I go down, you can see that there is a new intervention for this student. And if the other teachers who are involved go to their School Loop account, as soon as they log in, this is my portal, you'll notice right off the bat, under my discussion, it says missing homework. Education team of Irvin Jara. 
So all the other teachers can see this and they can reply to the post and give feedback or uh, assistance as well. So it's a very good tool to use and hopefully you'll use it throughout the year and it can help uh, you as a teacher and definitely help your students succeed in your classroom. So uh, be sure to play around with it and uh, get the most out of it. It'll help you get the most out of School Loop and uh, hopefully it'll help you out throughout the year. Good luck and if you have any questions go ahead and send me an email and I'll do what I can to help you out. Take care.